I'm here today at Trade 2025 with Alistair Hackett of Ocean Safety with the John Boy EVAC. And this really bridges the gap between a personal flotation device that you might throw overboard to get someone over who's gone overboard and a full-blown life raft. Now, this you describe as an evacuation platform. What would you say are the uses for it? I think the thing is, Mark, is that we've, we've all been at sea on vessels, whether it be a rib or a family yacht or whatever, where actually there is no means of evacuation off the vessel at all. And a rib can catch fire, you can sail into a tree trunk in the middle of the Solent and the vessel can sink really quickly. So the idea is, is to literally do what it says on the tin and that's have a platform that you can evacuate you and your family or the people you're on the vessel with to something that's afloat. So the concept is um, four and six person, single tube platform that inflates, manually inflated arch, it gives you something to get off to if it goes or goes wrong. Very, very easily transportable. You can carry it back to the car after a day on the water, you can take it home, you can take it to a friend's vessel. Um, it's very versatile and you're absolutely right that it bridges that gap between a fully fledged life raft and something that you can get off onto if it all goes wrong. We all think about our own personal flotation when we're out on the water, but this is now giving you the option for, if you're out on the water a day out, in the kind of boat that you wouldn't carry a life raft, which has a hard case, but it gives you something that you can literally bring with you, like a briefcase. Absolutely. It's, it's very important that people wear life jackets, but if, if your vessel sinks really quickly and you don't have anything to get into, you end up with a number of people all in the water, independent of each other, whereas this gives them the ability to all be together. Um, so you get four, six person, um, you can add um, an AIS transponder into it so people are going to know that you've been evacuated and the alert's been signalled. It's not a life raft, it is designed purely as something that you can evacuate to, which is why we've worked very hard to keep it very lightweight, between 11 and 12 kilos depending on what size you have. Um, and the concept is that it's something that's transportable and that doesn't need servicing very often. It has to be serviced every three years, inspected every three years, which is really important. And it also is peace of mind as well for families sailing across Christchurch Bay that they do twice a year, um, or just sailing in the Solent or sailing out of Plymouth going down to Foy, where you wouldn't need a life raft. People don't have life rafts. I've done it myself. I've gone sailing with vessels on boats that could, you know, it could happen to anybody. So the reality of it is it just gives you something to evacuate to. Um, it's very cost effective. And I think actually to, as, as a new product within the John Boy family, um, it bridges that gap between the John Boy recovery module and the true man overboard products to something that a whole crew can use. One of the things when you have got kids going out on the water for the first time, and that may well be in a rib, if the worst should happen and you have a fire and there's nothing to evacuate to, this could put them off being on the water for life. Whereas going to an evacuation platform could mean, okay, something bad happened, but I know that there was an option. There was something that could, could be done to make the situation better. So for families going on the water, this is gonna be the kind of product that gives you, as you said, that peace of mind. I think you're absolutely right in that the, the word option is really important. It does give you that option. You hope you're never going to have to use it. Most of the things we sell, we hope you're never going to have to use. But the reality of it is we are on the ocean, we are on the water, and it does happen. And because of its briefcase size, as you say, this is something where you don't actually have to keep it with the boat. In fact, it's probably better for it to keep it at home with you. And just as you take your buoyancy aids, your life jacket with you, you just bring this little briefcase, 10 to 12 kilos, it comes with you on the boat. Especially if you're on a friend's boat and you do not know how well they service it. Absolutely, you know, the concept of being able to have something that's transportable was an important part of the design. Uh, we wanted it to be something that people actually do take home at the end of the weekend or at the end of the day. Uh, and we wanted it to be something that people can have confidence in taking it onto a friend's boat for that very reason. You don't know whether they've got a life raft or not. You don't know if, what, what man overboard equipment they've got on board. So all in all, you end up with a scenario of, of, a, of a platform that allows you to do something if it's gone wrong. Brilliant. Well, I have to say, love this, love the fact that it bridges that gap. And Alistair, many thanks for your time. Thanks very much. 
We'll continue to bring you information about the latest products in the marine industry, as well as from sailing events on this channel, so please do subscribe using the button down here, and take a look at sailworld.com and yachtsnyachting.com for the latest news in the world of sailing.